Project EADS is a network of community-based food systems in New York City that provide food in communities that don't have access to fresh, organically grown food. It provides jobs and it provides programs so that they can live healthy lives and thrive. In 45 to 60 days, we can transform a lot into a farm that's growing food. It's a food system with farms that are the lead. I've always been interested in art, and after I came to New York, I started a gallery. It's the first gallery to show the work of African American and other artists of color in a major gallery district. Then I started making films. I was doing, going to do this web series and started pulling news footage down from Port-au-Prince in Haiti. And the footage showed women making mud pies and people were buying those to stave off their sense of starvation. And as I'm editing this footage, I'm sobbing and going, what kind of world do we live in? And at that point I said, everybody should be able to grow their own food, even if you live on concrete. In that moment, I realized this might have more purpose and be more effective than documentary films. So I said, let's grow food. All of us have how many voices in our head? Sometimes you can't even count them. The two dominant voices were, are you out of your mind? You don't know anything about farming. What in the world are you doing? And the other voice said, where are you going to get land? You don't have a dime. We go buy land in New York City. And so the way that we have access to land is that we create partnerships with people who have either long-term license agreements for the land or own the land. And we develop farms on land that's really prime land in New York City. Currently, Project Eats has farms in four boroughs of New York City's five boroughs. This location here on Wards Island is the largest in our network, which is about two acres. We are working in communities which tend to be more diverse than I think high-end markets that a lot of small market farmers are used to working in. We price at income appropriate prices and also offer options like pay what you think it's worth. We believe in making good, nutritious food available to everybody regardless of income. The main kind of summer crops are tomatoes. A lot of our markets tend to like the beefsteak type tomatoes as well as green tomatoes. Eggplants, all kinds of peppers, both sweet and hot peppers, collard greens, kale, Swiss chard, bok choy, turnips, beets, carrots are all favorites at the farm stands. A lot of herbs. And then here, we are cultivating winter squash, melons, leeks, and onions in our backfield here. We have a pharmacy program with an F where we partner with medical providers whose doctors prescribe fresh vegetables as part of their patient treatment plans. And we fill those prescriptions. They come get produce at an even further subsidized rate in order to improve their health outlook. One of the farmers who's been with us for five years now is Johnny Vickers. Red vegetables, we grow them, we pick them, you buy them, you eat them. This is Johnny Vickers coming to you from Project Eats, where we love to feed you. He came over and initially started volunteering, and before we knew it, he was learning the skills that our farmers had, and we hired him to work with us. I harvest, I plant, I basically do everything that a farmer does. I never knew about different types of vegetables like we grow here. It's a whole new experience, but like I said, I love it. A change in life for me, that's what it was. It was just basically a change in life. Part of our mission is to take youth from the communities and integrate them into the farms and develop their skills. Most youth stay with us about four and a half to five years. Basically, I am a farm apprentice. We plant, harvest, transplant, 
weeds. It's amazing to work in the city on a farm. There's so many people that just walk by and are just like, what is this? Like, you're growing food here. I didn't know this was possible. Not many people know like how or where the food is coming from. If it wasn't for Project Eats, I don't really know what I would be doing right now at the moment. We market our products to our farm stand and pharmacy patients from April to November, and then it cuts off. Every year, we have to re-engage those relationships again in the spring. Bringing in the Caterpillar Tunnels was part of an initiative to bring our farms towards four season production. They just fit into our plans really well here. When COVID hit, we made a strategic decision to distribute all our produce for free to the most at-risk communities in New York City. While it was a time of crisis, that was exactly the reason why this organization was born to begin with. I feel like we rose to the challenge and, and thrived under those circumstances. It was quite the summer. It was crazy, absolutely crazy. The thing that brings me the most satisfaction in working for Project Eats is the individuals I get to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Being able to share that time on the farm with them is more rewarding than you could imagine. One of the reasons farms are essential to Project Eats is that we farm in communities where can't is the prevalent word. What the farms do is provide can in a very tangible way. The farm is the first can that becomes the foundation on which we can build strong relationships with the residents in the community. Everything that is inefficient about the industrial food model is only going to be fixed by more people producing quality food for communities. I truly believe that food should be grown in communities. And I think that people around this world should start doing that, should start focusing on creating small plot, high yield farms in their communities that support having fresh vegetables, having essential food where people live. I think it's one of the greatest things you can do, especially now. Hi guys, I'm Jonathan with Farmer's Friend. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more inspiring stories like this. To learn more about our innovative small farm tools and supplies like easy to assemble greenhouse kits, flame weeders, and a lot more, check out our website at farmersfriend.com.